this habitat, when you add water, nature takes over and you get just a explosion of natural development on the site. Hal Holland is the regional director for Westervelt Ecological Services, and you can think of Westervelt as Mother Nature's helper. We really provided the right conditions for nature to take over and restore what should be here on this property. On a recent property tour, Holland was showing off a nearly 500-acre piece of land along the Cosumnes River between Sacramento and San Joaquin County. More than a century ago, the embankment along the river was built up to prevent overtopping and the land cleared to make way for agriculture. We would have been standing on corn here 15 years ago. But in 2008, Westervelt purchased the property. And after doing extensive study, using high-tech computer modeling, and GPS programmed earth moving machinery, was able to restore the land's contours back to historic conditions and was even able to breach the river levee to allow natural flooding of the land. These are cottonwood trees that have natively come in off of the floods. This is the sort of ecological restoration Westervelt will be doing for the High Speed Rail Authority. We have a variety of different habitats that we're preserving and restoring for the rail. So although there's a requirement to provide this compensation, they're really focusing on how can they make a difference on the landscape. More than 1,900 acres spread across the San Joaquin Valley will be used for habitat mitigation, protecting dozens of animals, including eight threatened and endangered species. We have upland habitats that are predominantly preservation for species like tiger salamander, kit fox. We also have restoration areas where we're building vernal pools for vernal pool invertebrates. And then we have some areas where we're doing large scale riparian restoration, very similar to what you see here. The first work will begin in the fall of 2018 at the Cottonwood Creek site in Tulare County, with the other sites to follow shortly after. There's a legacy that's going on that is really contributing to conservation in the San Joaquin Valley that's aiding in recovery for species and that's leaving a, a direct footprint that people will be able to visit for generations to come.